Hello, my name is Nick and I'm studying civil engineering at the University of Idaho. Today, we're going to learn the key components to create a launchable rocket. We show you how to apply these concepts to the engineering design process to build rockets from two liter plastic soda bottles that fly straight in the desired direction, like this one. Let's get started. For this activity, each person or group working together to complete the activity will need the following. A pair of scissors, a ruler, two empty two liter soda bottles, two manila folders roughly the same size, some duct tape, a spool of string, the non-stretchy string is the best kind of string, a trash bag, the kitchen size works great, a marker, five to seven quarters or anything to add weight to adjust the center of mass on your rocket. You can even use pieces of modeling clay. A bottle rocket launch pad, we're using the Aquapod purchased from Amazon but a bike tire pump can use as a great substitute. And a stopwatch. A cell phone would work great for this. Once you have all your materials collected, you're ready to begin. Your goal is to design a rocket that will go as high and as straight as possible. The two liter bottle will be the body of the rocket. Rocket fins will provide stability and control for your rocket. Make three fins by cutting out desired shapes from the manila folders. For best results, all three fins should be the same size and shape. Explore different fin shapes. The size and shape of your fin will affect the way it flies and how much drag is placed on your rocket. Think of drag like the force against your hand that is pushing you backwards when you stick your hand out of a car window. How will placement of the rocket fins affect the flight? Tape your fins to the bottom of your rocket. Make sure they're equally spaced apart for added stability. Adding fins changes the rocket's center of mass. The center of mass is important to a rocket's design because if a rocket is unstable, the rocket will spin out of control. A parachute will slow your rocket's descent to the ground. Use your second two liter bottle to make a parachute cap by cutting the top third off of the bottle. Flatten the bottle here so that it'll be easier to cut. A possible design of your parachute would be to take your trash bag and reinforce the edges with duct tape. Tape a string about two feet long to each of the four corners of your trash bag. Tape your strings to the top of your rocket. Roll your parachute and place it in the parachute cap, but not too tightly, otherwise the parachute will not come out. Place the parachute cap over your rocket at the bottom of the two liter bottle. Now the testing and redesign process begins. Since we're using an aquapod, we'll cover how to use that in this video. If you're using a bike pump, visit uidaho.edu slash engineering the future for more instructions. To set up the aquapod out of the box, attach the legs to the main body of the aquapod. Find a clear launch area that is clear 50 feet in all directions. If you're using an aquapod, it will include a pull string. Attach the pull string to the launch release arm and lay the pull string out to its full 15 feet in length. This is the launch zone and you and other bystanders should not be in it. Always stand 15 feet away from your aquapod before launching. Fill your two liter bottle with clean water, about one third of its capacity. Pick up the launcher and hold it over the bottle. Insert the launch tube into the bottle, covering the O-ring until it snaps into place and won't go any further. Turn the bottle launcher over and secure with the ground stake. Make sure the bottle is standing straight up in the center of the launch area. Attach a bicycle pump to the valve at the back of the launcher. Aquapod recommends starting with 10 pumps to meet the recommended 50 PSI for optimal launch. The Aquapod does include venting ports to keep it from becoming overpressurized. Aquapod recommends no more than 15 pumps, and exceeding the recommended pressure will not improve performance. When all bystanders are 15 feet away from the launcher, you are ready to launch. A gentle, quick tug of the launch string is all that is needed. Don't pull too hard as it might cause the launcher to topple over. If the bottle fails to launch, please visit our website for troubleshooting instructions. How did your rocket do? Did it fly straight? How high did it go? If you want, use a stopwatch to calculate how long your bottle rocket stays in the air. The longer it stays, the more successful the launch. Find more information and real life examples of how the concepts you learned in this video are related to real life engineering solutions. Check out our resource links on our website at uidaho.edu slash engineeringthefuture. 
Don't forget to take a picture of yourself or your group with your completed project and submit it online for a chance to win prizes and scholarships. And we can't wait to see you at Expo April 29th. Go Vandals!